All right, guys, you see, welcome back. And this should be the, literally the last update video. Um, just kinda, uh, the last video said I was gonna be doing a couple cleaning up the wires and you know, do some, uh, put new uh, gasket maker on the throttle body and route the wiring real nice. And I just got done finished test fitting the uh, the air boxes on these and just trying to make sure what I got to do. And I have to, for the inlet part of it, instead of getting their uh, VRPs like $300, $600 kit to replace these, uh, the actual, the inlet part on the original one is the same outer diameter size as the new throttle body. So all I needed to do was get a three and a half inch coupler and it literally kisses this end on the new one, on the new throttle body. So they meet perfectly right there. So I only need just a little bit of this, which should be just about enough to cut that and it'll be slip over both sides and put my big uh, bands on them. But other than that, that was probably one of the things I was a little worried about at first, but it should work pretty easy. Um, yeah, as you can see, I went ahead and I ran some nice, uh, I don't even know what this stuff is called, but anyway, it's kind of that, put your wires in it and you can route it nicely, keep everything a little bit more uh, protected from the heat and stuff. But yeah, I went ahead and redid the wiring, put them all through, send it through the back on that side. It's kind of not enough wiring going around the back side of it, but it, it works. So you won't see it once the boxes are on there. But uh, this side, I had to run them along a little bit lower towards the coil packs. Uh, but yeah, pretty much just had to do that, run it nicely. I had to trim a little bit of the firewall just a little bit so I can put the rubber seal back over it but I ran them right through there nice and clean so everything's protected ran now nicely secured down got my ground wire everything's nice now um yeah the yeah, I did mention before that idea I did start the car up and it did run so everything works uh I just emailed the tuner gave him the mod list and now I have about 48 hours till he can give me the the, the update tune and uh, yeah so we're just waiting for that at this point I finished up uh, everything else the only thing I will have to get is a another clamp for the fuel line I was trying to do the other line like I was gonna say I was gonna do but it's not working with it so it is what it is uh, the flex fuel sensor I put back in the back corner here so it gives it enough room to clear the boxes and everything and route the wire the hose back up through here so everything is hooked up a hundred percent ready to go as of right now so yeah literally just get one little clamp put the air boxes on and uh, wait for the tune it's pretty much it as of uh, right now I have everything else so yeah guys it's uh we are so close to getting this thing back on the road I'm so excited so yeah the next video should be probably is us uh, uploading the tune and then going to get some E85 so watch for the video it's gonna be good although there is a lot of rain in the forecast for this week uh, but yeah, that guy kind of sucks, but we're still going to drive it around. Uh, yeah. So that is the, uh, probably the last update on what is going on here. So yeah, guys, if you, uh, like these videos, like, subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you guys on the next one.